Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I've got some items to share with you today from Everyday E Crafts. So thank you so much to them for sending me these. So we'll start with the one we can see because otherwise where's the excitement and the joy? Um, this does come in a little zip pouch but this one, um, you may have seen these before, I have had things like this before but this one is a notebook. I always find these are nice to use. I do prefer them when they're lined and um, this one isn't but they do still have many uses. Maybe I could draw some little plans of the house, you know, maybe decoration projects, maybe cut up some images for mood boards, we'll see. Um, so we have a boat, pen and wax. I just keep thinking of projects I can use them for because why not? They're pretty. Uh, we do have some nice big diamonds going on these, which you can already see are those red ones. Sort of reds and oranges and pinks mainly, but they're the huge ones. Um, I probably would just put them on with my hands. Uh, we have some orange and then we have a bit of pink and some red. We have some silver, nice big red teardrops, smaller red teardrops, and then we've got sort of a yellowy, orangey, bronzy coloured teardrop. Um, and then red and white in round. Uh, and they go in a few different places. So we've got some bigger ones around here, around here. Uh, some of the bigger ones are on here. And then of course, we've got all the little ones mixed in, in between as well. Nice little, especially if you've got somebody that maybe is, is thinking about doing diamond painting. This can sort of be something that doesn't take them too long, um, but gives them a chance to sort of try it out. Nice gifts these are. I like to have a few notebooks. In fact, I have got a few notebooks in. Sometimes I do them myself as little projects. Sometimes I like to gift them so that somebody can give them a go and then have a notebook at the end of it anyway. Um, and sometimes I gift them already done. Depends on the person. So that is that one. Number two. This one is a little bit smaller than the last one. So we're going up in size. Is this one a diamond painting or is it a special? Which one is it? Oh, it is a diamond painting. It's quite a small diamond painting though. So this I thought was cute because it was a little fairy in a little like gazebo. Um, it is quite a bit smaller than I thought it would be. Is my camera focused? Yeah, you can still make out the image though. So no objection on that front, uh, but it is about 23 centimeters by 23. So nowhere near the 30 by 30 canvas size say you can still make out what it is so not all is lost um, and that's where the disappointment comes if you can't make out what it is for this one you can the shading is still very good um, and it does have 16 colors which I think helps it pop to life and um, we get a standard toolkit boat wax pen and then we've got lots of blues I need to change the battery in my camera let me do that and then we'll Look at the blues. Sorry, my camera battery tends to go from full to flashing. Um, it may go to two bars, but it doesn't show it me on the screen while I'm filming. It just shows me when it's nearly gone. So let's have a look at the blues. So there is a lot of shading in this. So while the image doesn't look clear, especially when I hold it up here, due to the fact that there is a lot of different shading in this gap here, when you actually look at it from further away the image does become clearer and I do think that the shading helps that so we have a lot of different blues and greys and whites in this which I think is what really helps the colours to pop 
Um, we do not have DMC numbers on these. Uh, they're not on the packets or on the canvas. That's looking very black, um, which you would expect. That is quite a full bag of black, but it is only one bag because of course it is done by weight. So some colours you will have more of in a bag than others. Um, but yeah, I still think it's a nice image. There's not the disappointment of the image not being wow, but it is quite small. But having said that, there are often times when a small project is exactly what I need. Especially when I've done a few big ones. I like to mix it up. Okay, and then last but by no means least, we have another tree. <laughs> I do, I do, I go for images that just make me go, wow. And images that I would sit there and diamond paint and be happy once it was done. This canvas will flatten out. Um, I have had some canvases that have been underneath just the weight of my light pad um, for an evening and they've been flat. Um, I'm just trying to get it to lie a bit flatter for the purposes of the unboxing. Um, we get a boat wax pen and three baggies by the looks of it. It does have 20 colours and it does include DMC numbers on this one. The canvas size, so it's a 30 by 40, but the canvas size is the 25 by 35 that we've become used to with poured glue. And I think you can perfectly see that image, even considering we have you know, the, the parts of the swing. This part is looking lighter than the part in the front, which it's supposed to. And that is all down to the shading of the diamonds on that piece of, of rope, in effect, that's what it is. Um, same with the branches. It is the shading that makes the branches look like they're closer or further away. And I think a lot of diamond paintings um, there are many companies that do diamond paintings with this awesome shading so the colour really pops. I think when you get a lot of the disappointment, uh, and sometimes it is the image is, is far too busy for the size that it is, um, but I do find a lot of the time, not all of the time, but a lot of the time companies only offer one diamond painting size, they've often got it right. Not always the case by any means, but I do think you can be surprised how small you can go with some images. Um, but we have a lot of purples. They're all purple, including the really dark one. Um, we do have black. So, could be worse. <laughs> um, we have some purples, some peaches. Of course, we've got some nice colours on the tree. We've got some nice vivid blues for that background and some, is that 819? Yeah, 819, which is a really pale pink. I think a lot of that will be in the moon. Yeah, in fact, that moon is actually 819. Gives it the nice colouring. We've got browns, some more vivid blues, all the way down to some more purples and some pops of, of brighter pink. So... Yeah, if you get a painting, especially like this one, that when you look at it close up, you're like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to see that. Do take that step back. Um, it will always look better as well once it has the diamonds on it. It will look even better than it does quite often from a distance. Okay, they're not going back. Fight with them in a minute. Um, but you can be amazed that the difference from looking at that close up and thinking what on earth have they got purple symbols in there for to looking at it from a distance it's to give you that shading um, and you will often be very surprised so sort of 
mystical, no they're not mystical, that's sort of a fairy one, this one's more of a, it's got a little whimsical side to it and a nice evening project or gift for a friend for today's unboxing. Um, so a thank you so much to Everyday E-Crafts as always for sending me these items and thank you so much to you guys for watching. I will speak to you all again soon.